Hi, it's Jamie Greenberg, celebrity makeup artist, and it's hot out. It's the summer, but you still want to look good, right? So today I'm going to take you on a little tutorial to show you how to do your makeup so that it lasts in the summer heat. You don't want to be as sweaty at the barbecue. Ew. So the first thing is skin prep. If you know you're going to be doing your makeup the next day and you want it to look really good, you want to prep your skin mostly at night by putting on any sort of moisturizers and eye creams and serums and really lather up at night so it gets soaked into your skin while you sleep. Mm -hmm. Then when you wake up in the morning, stay light on the skincare. Usually what I like to use is a beauty elixir that has hydration and brightening aspects to it. This is Caudalie's Beauty Elixir. Spray a little bit all over your face and decollete and wherever else you want to because it's so refreshing. And it'll just give you a nice hydration but nothing too heavy. You wanna make sure that you start dry. So this is just the perfect amount of hydration for your face. So this is a great product that's not gonna make your skin look like super white or ashy, depending on your skin tone. It's Murad's Invisiblur Perfecting Shield. And what it does is it treats the skin, which is amazing to have a product that also treats the skin. It protects the skin and it blurs the skin. So it acts as a primer. Just take one pump and apply it all over the skin. Now you want to make sure that you use your hands to really get it into the skin because it has this nice slip which is going to make your makeup look beautiful but remember we want this to last a long time so you just want to make sure you really get it into your skin. To make brows last I want to use two products. First I'm going to use the Anastasia Brow Wiz just to draw in my brows. Now what I want to do is add a little bit of this cream brow. It's medium brown by Ardell and I'm just going to take this Ardell brush and a little bit of this brow color and then just kind of wipe it through my brows. This is going to make the brow stay put. Think of it as like a gel for your, like when you put gel on your hair it makes the hair kind of stay in one place. It's the same thing for a brow. I'm going to use Makeup Forever's Aquamatic Pencils. They're these thick creamy pencils that you can place all over your lid and they don't move once you get them down. So I'm just going to place it all over my lid. This nice really pretty color. I'll go up into my crease and then take your finger to really, again, meld this color into your skin so that it almost looks like your second skin. We really need to get every product really nicely packed into the skin so that it stays longer and really survives the heat. Now I want to add a little bit more color. So you could use another Aquamatic because I know that they stay put or this this is a product that I really love. It's Ritual de Felie. I don't know, it's French. It's Nightshade. I actually was turned onto this from Fiona Styles, an amazing makeup artist. Um, and it's this also a very dry, creamy eyeshadow that stays put. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of smoke to this, just a teeny bit, just to give it a little bit of drama. And again, I'm applying everything with my fingers because it's getting it really nicely packed into the eye. So next I'm gonna do my eyeliner and I'm gonna actually apply a pencil and a cream liner because I really want this to stay. I'm gonna layer it with two waterproof formulas. Now that sounds crazy, but I promise it'll make everything stay. So first I'm just gonna lightly put my Noir by Antonym, it's their liner, and it actually was just written up an L and it's a great liner. So I'm just gonna kind of just skim it and like smoke it out a little bit on my eyeliner area and then on my water rim, I'm gonna put this on too. So next I'm going to use Tarte's Clay Pot, it's waterproof cream liner in black. And I'm going to place this over. Now I've laid down the other liner and I'm going to kind of use my fingers to kind of smudge it a little bit before it dries. Now remember, everything that's waterproof has a play time and when the play time expires, nothing is supposed to move. So make sure that you're like doing this pretty quickly or things will just stay and you won't be able to move them. Both eyeliners layered so that it's like double trouble for the heat. Don't mess with us heat. Next we're going to use a waterproof mascara. I'm going to use Lancome's Definicils in waterproof. This is a great mascara. And we're just going to place it all over the lashes, top and bottom. Now to get any excess mascara off, it's nice too, but you got to be really careful. It's a blink onto paper. Even though this is waterproof, we just don't want any excess. We don't want anywhere that like heat could get and things could start to fall. Okay, next, foundation. So I'm really obsessed with this new Orlan foundation. Um, it's a hydrating foundation. It actually is supposed to work with your overtones. Like I could take a color and maybe you could take a color and it would be the same color but it would 
actually work differently on our skin. It's kind of amazing how it works. So I'm gonna take a little of this. Um, it's not as thick as most foundations, which I like, but it has good coverage. And the secret is now using this diffusing tart brush. This brush is fantastic to get natural looking skin with foundation. Now again, the heat can make things move, so you really want to meld it in there as close to the actual skin as possible. So that's what we're going to be doing with this. So you just take a little bit, put it on your brush, and meld it into your skin. If you want more coverage, you can keep layering it. But again, I'm trying to keep it natural because we're going to be in the heat, so try not to be as thick or as heavy handed as you might usually be. Bring it down the neck. It's totally pretty, totally summer. And again, it kind of just evens out my skin tone, but it's enough coverage that I have, you don't see all my secrets. So next I'm gonna use a cheek tint. I'm obsessed with these benefits, these cheek tints. They're also lip tints, so you can get two for the price of one, which I always love. Um, so we're gonna use that. This is important because it'll stain the cheek and it won't move in the heat, and that's great. So you can just put a little bit on your cheek. And again, you don't have much time. Dab it in with your fingers, and you have this great natural glow, and it's a stain, so get it off your fingers too. <laughs> so this is great, so you have like a little bit of glow, and it is gonna stain, so it won't move anywhere, but if you wanna have a little bit more, then you can take your favorite blush. I'm gonna take Laura Geller. This is like a marbleized, called Tropic Hues. Again, meld it into the skin, because the closer we get to the skin, the more it will resist the heat. Kinda when you have, like a regular color, like a foundation, and you set it with powder, it's kind of like we're doing the same thing. So we're just taking a dry formula, putting it over the wet formula, and it's gonna reinforce. So actually layering is not the worst case scenario in this situation, but you just wanna be very light-handed and use products that are thin. Now, I also wanted to mention that when I put on my foundation, I went a shade darker, so I would bypass using bronzer. So next I'm just gonna put a teeny bit of concealer underneath my eyes. I really like this naked skin because it is so light and weightless. So I'm gonna just take a little dab, the smallest amount of dab, and I'm again just going to meld it in with my ring finger, the weakest of the fingers, into the skin. And it dries really nicely, and it really, it doesn't even feel like you have anything on. And again, that is the key. So if, if it's getting hot throughout the day and you feel like you are getting really shiny, there are a couple things you can use. I usually stay away from powder because you're just adding on to the problem. And I like to use a mattifier. Jouer has an amazing mattifier. And it's this really light formula. And again, you would just place it wherever, wherever the sun don't shine, wherever your oil slick is happening. Usually mine's right here in the T-zone. Okay, we're doing a lot of like dabbing with our fingers, but it's really gonna work to keep all the product close to your skin so that it doesn't move. And before we set the look, I'm gonna be using Josie Moran's. This is her magic marker. It's also a lip and cheek stain. Now you could use the 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 benefit if you wanted to, but I'm gonna just, I like showing you guys products. So I'm gonna use the Josie Moran marker. And now my lips are super moisturized to the point where I could apply even more lip balm, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna apply my stain. So this is a great color, it comes in a bunch of different colors, and I love it because it goes on like you're using a marker. So it really adheres to the lips, and it's fabulous. Last but not least, I'm gonna set it all with Urban Decay's All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This is the magic potion that's gonna keep everything on. It's going to help it withstand the heat, which is really what we're doing here. So you're gonna shake it up, you're gonna spray two to four sprays in an X or a T formation. Can I get an X? Can I get a T? You can do it like this. One, two, and then a T. So that was four sprays. So I'm done, I'm maxed out, but I'm gonna do two more because we're going into hot yoga. So this is supposed to last for just 16 hours. As a bonus for you guys, I'm gonna go do a hot yoga class. And again, I've done this before, but now we're trying different products and we're trying different application skills and we're gonna see how my face stands up. I'm telling everybody here at Core Power Yoga about the makeup, there's my instructor, who was like, why are you wearing so much makeup to class? But everything stayed on. Look how rosy my cheeks are, Nick. But look, everything did really well. There's a little transfer, but my brows are on, my lips are on, my cheeks are on, foundation is still on. Um, <laughs> thanks guys for in enduring this challenge with me and it really did work and I'm sweating my face off. But not really, because all the makeup's still on. Just sweating.
So remember, when you're at your hot beach parties or your barbecues or your hot yoga or you're just taking a jog and you want your face to be flawless, remember, use your fingers. Don't be afraid to get in there. Use brushes that really make product get into your skin. Also, use products that are very light and don't be afraid to layer if they're light. T and X with your spray at the end and your face won't be caught on the floor. I hope you guys are having a great summer. I'm excited to see what you think about this. So let me know, comment below and wear your SPF. And if you wanna see more stuff like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a wonderful week and stay cool, cat.